Well, the first couple of novels I wrote, The Wanderers and Blood Brothers, were picked up for movies. And mistakenly and naively and shockingly naively so, the filmmakers saw all the, the dialogue in the book and they said, wow, this guy would be a natural for screenplays. Even though the fact that di you know, good ear for dialogue has nothing to do with being a good screenwriter. Screenplays are all about structure and momentum. If you have good dialogue, great. If you don't have that dialogue, the actor will give it to you. The, you know, he'll make it human speech. If he doesn't like what you're saying, he'll say it his own way and it'll be better. I mean, a good ear is, is a plus, but it's, it's not essential. Um, I don't know, I just, I, I had a couple of offers to, for the Wanderers and Blood Brothers to, you know, go out there and, and write scripts. And I didn't really take them on because I had a feeling I was very young. And if, but I felt like if I go out there now and I start working on screenplays, I'll never come back to novels. And I waited uh, till I had four books and then I just sort of burned out. And I said, well, I want to keep writing, but I, you know, I, can't, I don't know what to write about. Then I sort of called up all these people that have been proposing jobs to me over the years. And I said, let's get going. Ironically, one of them uh, was Scott Rudin, who at the time I met him when they were shooting The Wanderers, uh, was like a teenager. And he was a casting director. And last week, you know, he bought Lush Life. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he, buys, he buys a lot of books. But, you know, he's been kind of a patron of mine, you know, in terms of, like, film rights for the last three books or so. 